your time. How are you all? <laughs> all right. All right. We have entitled this transmission, Interdimensional Portals and Where to Find Them. Now, this transmission will be a little bit all over the map, specifically the one in your hands. We will be dealing with a few energy portals, not all of them. We will start with some, and over time, we will introduce more and more and more of them in future transmissions. But for now, if you will regard the maps you have been given, we can begin. Hello, Bashar. And a you good day. Um, so my next question is about belief systems, I suppose. Um, yes. So I have a fear. And this fear, I'm not afraid of what happens after I die. Yes. I'm afraid of how I will die. Well, how do you imagine that you will die that seems so fearful? I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to die. So it, it scares me, the idea of, say, maybe pain or... So you are saying that you simply prefer not to experience pain. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That you would like to die simply and easily? Yeah. All right. Well, then go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay. What is it that you believe will determine that transition? Yeah, and I think that's maybe it, is that I, perhaps I think that it's set up for me. Like it's something that is inevitable, and when that happens, I... So you understand that you set it up, yes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you believe that you chose a particularly nasty way to die? Well, I, I see other... I don't think anyone comes in saying, I want to die like this. Oh, but sometimes they do, because it depends on what purpose that serves. Now, yes, it's true, for the most part, people may forget that they have a choice and have made a choice, and so they may just simply let it run its course and experience the idea of pain. But since you're asking the question, that obviously means you have some conscious recognition that it's possible to change that, yes? or you wouldn't be asking the question. You wouldn't even consider the possibility that you might be able to consider something different. So the fact that you can ask the question is usually an indication that you can choose right now a way that would work better for you. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So how would you like to transition? In your I'm... sleep or floating in a pool? <laughs> or... Like just peaceful, just like yes, real chill, right. yeah. Well, then, again, there is nothing preventing that. If you believe that it doesn't really serve you, if there's no lesson to be learned that you can't learn in life by experiencing the idea of a painful transition, then there's no need to experience it that way. Yes? And remember, in that sense, death is really just like waking up from a dream because physical reality is a dream. You do understand that you're in spirit right now, yes? Like a, None of you leave spirit. That's your natural state. You are just dreaming that you've left. That's what physical reality is. A portion of your greater being in non-physical reality is pretending that it's no longer in the spirit realm. But you are there. Right now. The greater portion of you. And this portion that is seemingly the whole of your identity as a physical being to the version of you that is in spirit right now is just about the same as the size of your fingernail. That's your physical being to the spirit that you are. Do you understand? Mm. So just like you wake up in the morning from a dream, yes? Is that painful? <laughs> no. Well, then same idea. You're just gonna wake up and go, oh, that seemed so real, but now I know that was just a dream, and this is who I actually am. Yes? Yeah. Does that sound more preferable? <laughs> yeah. All right. Then it can be that way for you. Unless, of course, you choose to be a masochist. Yeah, I'd prefer... And feel like you need to punish yourself for something at the end of your life. Is that something you believe you need? No. All right. Then there is no need to experience that. Yes? Yeah. Can be over in a blink. <laughs> in fact, if you really are actually at any point in your life done, 
All you have to do is lie down and close your eyes and say, I'm ready to go. And then count to 10. If you can open your eyes at the end, you're not done. <laughs> because it can be that easy if you actually are done. You can just say, I'm done. Lie down, close your eyes, and go. Yes? Yeah. Is this helping? Yeah, it's helping. Oh, all right. You feel a little bit more relaxed about your death? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If you want, we will be happy to show up at the moment of your death with pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> you could show up, but maybe no pitchforks. Just, you know, a friendly hello. But we would only do that to make you laugh. <laughs> and that way you get to die laughing. There you go. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs>